Welcome back guys this is to another video today guys is I am back at it again with another review this time guys it's gonna be the first season of chapter four so as you guys can see on this gameplay this is the first um game that I've won in this season. I didn't record too much for these clips but I recorded a couple last ones in case I uh, didn't do anything. So, um, today, guys, I'm just doing a Chapter 4 Season 1 review and talking about what has happened throughout the last, you know, YouTube and stuff, uh, where I've been, and, you know, what's going to happen with the future. So, to keep things in mind before, first, let's take back to Chapter 3, where we basically had this, um, like, um, cr um, event that we had with Chrome and all that other stuff, and then, uh, the event sucked. The event was really bad. It was very long, but it was really bad. We didn't fight Harold. All we did was just collect something and just looked back past through events, which kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. It was probably one of the was definitely top three worst events of all time, in my opinion. So, um, so after that was done, we had a day break, and then we got ourselves Chapter 4, where we collected all of our realities, so all of the past seasons connected into one sort of it's kind of different um now before i get into you know my you know my ranking on this chapter let's look at all the other stuff first off with the weapons of course with a new chapter we got a new brand new uh loop pool so basically we have got ourselves the thunder twin mags we had uh red eye the scar came back the scar was actually the one that came back um i was excited for that keys were returning, you know, all that other stuff. So yeah, I was pretty pumped uh, to, you know, come back. You got the Tactical Pesto, which as you can see on that screen, it is overpowered, it is so cool. RPG came back. So yeah, and of course it's going to be a new uh, loot pool with guns, but there are a couple of returning ones as well, so that is kind of a nice pace of change. Uh, they also had motorbikes, which you can see. Those were kind of fun, actually. Um, and I think it's had a couple new locations. I think it was there wasn't a single, um, you know, um, like old location that came back. Like there was no Shifty Shaft, no Greasy Grove, no Fatal Fields. The closest was Frenzy Fields, but that was it. And there was nothing. Like absolutely nothing happened. So, and then you also had the Battle Pass. Man, there's a lot of stuff that actually did happen a little bit. And then you also had the Excalibur, which as you guys can see, there was a Mythic. You had the hammer. The hammer was one of the best items in the game at that time. It was so good. And they slowly added in the Guardian Shield, which was pretty good. And they had the Falcon Scout. Falcon Scout was pretty decent. Um, and yeah, not really too much. Um, once I progress forward, we'll talk about more stuff, you know, with guns later. Um, and so with the Battle Pass, it was kind of decent. We had a lot of good skins, like the Angelus skin. Doom Slayer was decent. There was some good and there was some bad. I'm not going to lie. The Battle Pass was like 7 out of 10. I did not think the Battle Pass... I think the Tier 100 was really good. The theme for it was amazing. He is actually a pretty big storyline for this, um, you know, Fortnite lore. So I kind of do like it a lot. So I... So it's definitely uh, for sure that we're going to um, see him a couple, probably for this chapter to come, and I'm excited. Um, yeah, but yep, that is 7 or 6 out of 10, kind of. It's not really the best battle pass we've had, but it's it's decent enough to, you know, maybe grind on it. So yeah. After that, we had a couple maps, and now we're going to go throughout the entire... Um, you know, full on uh, seasons and uh, how it went. So first update, um, I think our first major one was um, All Might, and All Might was pretty decent. Um, All Might was good. The problem was is that it kind of just made as a marketing uh, for when I think yeah, because that was when Winterfest and All Might came out, and then they used Winterfest. So they basically for Winterfest it was like. They were trying to get all the All Might fans trying to, you know, have a collab during Winterfest just to grab more players and they have Winter at the same time. So, on paper, it was probably a good idea for them and for us. I mean, Anime Enjoyers could probably get that, which was nice. And then Winterfest was up and it was usually a tradition 
Well, I'll be completely honest, Winterfest sucked. Um, All Might was pretty decent. Deku Smash was actually kind of fun. Uh, they added that, I think. Uh, the characters were, of course, I mean, they're mid. But All Might was actually kind of fire, though. All Might is, of course, fire. But, um, yeah. Deku Smash was fine. But Winterfest just sucked. I even mentioned this um, two months ago from the Winterfest review. And I talked about how bad it was. If you want more on that, um, it will be... Um, you can go to my YouTube channel, and it will probably be Winterfest Review, and you could probably see that. Uh, so yeah, just making sure, uh, you know, I'm not going to say everything about Winterfest since I've already talked about it, but all I got to say was that Winterfest, um, it wasn't that good. And probably the biggest thing that happened from it is that they didn't cover any snow. Like, it wasn't like the whole map was snowy. Like, they didn't add, like, barely any snow. It was just still the same, and it kind of sucked. So yeah, that's all I got to say. If you want to go watch it, yeah, you're good. So it ended, nothing really much happened, I think, during this. Uh, that was when the Guardian Shield and Falcon Scout was being added. There was a couple of new stuff that was added as well. You know, it, it, was, it was some good changes. Um, also, um, this was when the bows, I think. No, I think it returned beginning. I thought it, was, I thought it returned at some point in the season, but it was actually at the beginning. My favorite is the Shockwave bow. Shockwave bow is nice. It's a good backup for a hammer, at least. I, I like the bow. So, with that being said, um, January, it wasn't a lot. Now, I think they brought back the Kahamehameha with a Dragon Ball Z collab or something. So, yeah. But there is one big key right here that I am going to say is that I think this was during the... Um, Fortnite lore, they're building like this rift gate, and, it was, and it's going to be important for next season. I'm excited for next season, which I will talk about in a little bit. But um, the chapters for season one Fortnite lore, you know, like the storyline was continuing after Winterfest, and you know, it had pretty people intrigued. It's it's looking good. Um, I think this was when I started playing COD, so I didn't do too much with it, but I did play a couple times, and it's pretty good. But probably the big break was February. Now, for February, it's mainly where it's, um, we're basically at the time of the season where they don't do as much. We had the Super Bowl. Um, the Super Bowl was great. There was one call that screwed up the whole entire thing, though, so I will say that. Um, the holding call, if you guys, if you guys ever watched it, but yeah, it sucked. So they had to add that, you know, football skins, and they had a Valentine's Day. But the biggest one was Heist. This Heist event for, like, two weeks was one of the best... Um, you know, things that we've had in a, you know, pretty long time. Uh, you had the Chrome, Everburst, you had the Shotguns, it was so much fun. The highest event for two weeks, they had a lot of new stuff. Deagles, they had Heavy Sniper, um, Silence Pistol, like the, like the OG Silence Pistol. Not the, um, one where it marks people, like the actual, um, Silence Pistol, normal. <sighs> um, and they had, uh, they had like a, they had a lot of new stuff. Like, they had, they vaulted. I know, they unvolted a lot of stuff. So they added in the Heist Exotics. They had the P91, the Maven, Heavy, Heisted uh, Red Dot side. It was so cool. I liked it a lot. Overall, basically the premise was that you get you get these Heist points in which you if you collect all five of the main cold-blooded, I call them cold-blooded because it looks like cold-blooded, but if, if you get cold-blooded symbols, five of them, you unlock a back bling, and then what you do with them, so you get eliminations, and then the last one is to get a victory out, which you can do in Team Rumble, and then you get the final back bling reward. And that's honestly kind of cool. So this event lasted for two weeks. One of the best ones we've had, it got me hooked for... Uh, during the event, it was so much fun. I really liked it. Um, the vaults were amazing. Um, they executed it very well. Um, and also, they, they stacked the gold to the max. They stacked, like, you know, how much gold you can get is insane. So, yeah. Very good event. But, of course, it does not, you know, all things must come to an end. And it eventually did, which did, like, two weeks ago. But I wasn't, you know, too mad about it. So that was probably the last big one, I think. I forgot to mention one thing, and that's my bad. I do this a lot, these reviews. Um, there was actually where you earned all the heist points. You know, like, you know, you earn enough heist points to get yourself a free skin. I think it's like Cold Blood skin, I don't know. But you get a heist skin completely for free, um, which was actually kind of cool. 
I think it was just an. I think the free skin was actually kind of nice, though. I did like it a lot. So yeah, after that, I it's it, it's supposed that they vaulted it, but they didn't. But I think after that event, the event ended, of course. But they added two unvaulted weapons out of nowhere. It felt it was probably the most random update I've probably have ever seen. But they added back the six shooter and the infantry rifle. Six shooter kind of sucks, honestly. I mean, you have to hit every single shot just to even be close to killing them. Zero build is useless. Build is decent. Infantry rifle's decent. Um, I don't. It's not personally my favorite, in my opinion, but it's kind of okay. And I think this is when um, I think I, this is kind of like the season where I didn't really post a lot. And I will say it's kind of my fault, but also I've been pretty busy for a while. You know, I've told you guys probably from chapter three review that I was probably going to be busy with other stuff, and this is exactly what's happening. We'll probably get more busier. As time goes by, I've been busy today, so I'm trying to make this as my last effort right now. But we'll talk about it later. Um, around March, nothing much. There, uh, the storyline continues. As of right now, um, I'm recording this on March sixth. On March seventh, there is going to be part four of the timeline. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but that's probably going to be the conclusion of chapter four, season one timeline, and then we get to the next season. I'll make a review on it. I'll try to get my first win on it, of course, on solo. Probably I'll do it during the weekend because probably I can't do it on a Wednesday unless I manage to get very lucky. But usually every single season, I always try to get a solo win and get myself a victory, a victory umbrella, of course. That's always what I go for every single season. God. Yeah, this has been a lot of talking, honestly. And my throat kind of hurts right now, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. Um, Storyline, uh, Cypher Quest came out. You know, that's teasers for next season. I am excited to see what's going to happen. <coughs> and, yeah. My review for this season, I'm going to say an 8. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's far from perfect, of course. There's definitely some issues. There's definitely some, you know, there's definitely some uh, pretty big issues that happened, but overall, it was really good. Overall, the season felt nice, and, you know, now it's polished now. I think it's a very, very good season. It's an 8 out of 10 for me, without questions asked. Um, I'm excited for next season, which, speaking of, let's talk about Chapter 4, Season 2. I won't get too much on it right now. So all I know is that the uh, season, you know, Battle Pass skins got leaked. It's confirmed, um, you know, by a couple sources. And, yeah. Basically, what's happening is that there's going to be a new Cypher skin, which is the Lizard Guy. Not the uh, Cypher PK skin, but it is the Cypher Lizard skin. I'm going to call him Cypher Lizard from now on because I won't get confused with Cypher PK. But, yeah, there's Cypher uh, Lizard, and there's a couple other skins I don't know about yet. Which I will check out probably once the season starts. But yeah. There is that. And it's set to be kind of a little bit Chinese. I mean, I've seen a couple of Chinese texts. I highlight that would be anything about China, which would be weird. For like the next three months, would just be all China. But I will say that the theme looks nice. It feels like season 9 to me. Season 9 vibes. I mean, I, I kind of looked at the... Um, teasers and it just looks like it's futuristic. So yeah, a lot of crypting, a lot of glitching. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be interesting the one. So yeah, um, now let's talk about with the YouTube. Already done with the Fortnite. Um, I'll talk about more probably you know during the reviews. But now let's talk about the future. Let's talk about my YouTube. You know what I've been doing so far. Um, as of late, um, I have streamed a, a lot on Twitch. Don't talk about it too much because I just kind of fizzled out. I've been in probably one of the most busiest, I mean, you know, scenarios I have possible. It's hard to post to YouTube right now. So throughout my whole, you know, during Chapter Four, I only posted like four videos. I think this whole entire time it was shipment, and then there was one Fortnite, and then there was trolling, which I just posted recently. If you guys want to go check it out. So yeah. It wasn't really a lot than I expected. I've had a hit video in actually a couple months. I'm looking for a different style video. Um, 
I probably will soon. I'll try. I could do another Smash or Pass female locker skins part two. You know, if my have I changed my mind, I'll go with the hot ones. If you guys want me to, I, I honestly don't know. But I haven't posted a lot, but I have been kind of busy. So basically, what's gonna happen is that if you guys want me to see me active. Also, I do have a face cam, by the way. Um, actually, guys, we'll show you right now. So, as you guys can see, I have my face cam. Um, I actually have this face cam a couple times on Twitch. If you guys want to see me, especially with hair for a couple times, um, I will have a link in the description. Um, I do have, indeed, a Twitch. Um, so, yeah, you guys can go follow me there. I have Instagram. I actually post there a couple times. You know, all the other stuff. Um, you know, you guys can see me in Twitch. You know, I'm doing COD, I'm doing Rocket League, I'm doing Fortnite, you know. I just got done with a stream earlier. So if you guys want me to catch me up on there, and I'll be active there. Let me, uh, you know, links in the description. I have Twitch and Instagram. I'll mostly be active there in case if I can't do YouTube. So yeah, that is it. I will see you guys next time. Um, all I want to say, guys, is thank y'all for the support. Uh, the season has been absolutely fantastic, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Oh my God! Yeah, they're really back in there. Wow. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh! You wanna stall that? Oh yeah, that is insane. That was so clean. Wow. Securing the objective now. Come on, come on. Oh my god, I got a quad. Oh my god, okay, I got a quad. No. Dude, this game is so bad.